Hey everyone and welcome back to episode 13. I'm kidding. It's episode 14 of my Terraria Let's Play. Last episode, it was quite the interesting one. <laughs> As you can see, we have Jeff, no longer Dylan. Dylan the pedophile has died. We had the goblin army occur. We found what is apparently called a floating lake, uh, or sky lake. I've never heard of that one. I, I don't remember if they were 1.2, like a 1.2 point four if they were 1.3 but i've never seen one myself we also found a new npc all the way down <laughs> all the way down here in the little spider mini biome which she died she dropped these stylish scissors which were better than the sword i had and then she jumped in a pool of lava well she jumped in a pool of lava and then died but we found her then she died i i, I don't know what she was thinking we also keep having the eye of cthulhu spawn on us every night and that's something that is of an immediate concern. I feel like we should just deal with them. Also, apparently people keep yelling at me, telling me I can put these in this equipment thingy. This is new to me, so I, I'm, it's cool that, that it's there. Oh, you can have a light pet and a pet. Uh, we have the minecart, and I'm aware of the mounts. So this is my equipment slot. So that just frees up some inventory slots. That's quite quite neat. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything for like, my musket balls or anything like that. There's, there's a musket pouch. Which we could craft, or go buy. I thought we could buy it. I think we can buy it, not craft it. There's a couple new things. We got the whoopee cushion, which I know I can combine with my cloud in a bottle to make a fart in a bottle. Uh, do I have... I have the bottle here, so we would... I think we need the gobbler, or the tinkerer's workstation, so I don't believe we can do that quite yet. I'm going to leave it in here. Uh, we've got the cloud. Obviously, I can't really do much with that. Looks like we're going to want to make a few more chests. I mean, there's this chest up here. But I need to start cleaning up my inventory. So let's just do like one of those awesome, amazing, super quick stacks. We'll put this in here. We have danger sense potions. I learned all about favoriting items. That was really freaking cool. I'll be real. Silver ore. We have quite a bit. We can probably make a full set of silver armor. I don't think we're quite there for gold. However, I have Cthulhu. Uh, is very likely going to spawn in the night. So we need to get our, our rear and gear. To my knowledge, again, the easiest thing or the best way to just deal with them, short of having better gear, because that's not what we have right now, is let's make ourselves a little mini arena. I can then use potions and things like that to help me out here, but somewhere nice and flat is going to benefit me greatly. Put down a bunch of torches and things of that nature. So what I'm going to do is chop this tree down. This is going to make the water get all wonky, but we're going to also get our pickaxe and mine. Make this flat. And I believe right here, oh, we're down one, so we want to go this way. So let's just mine the cross, and I, I know that down here it's not exactly flat either, but we'll probably just go across it with some platforms. We need a really long, straight, plain, like, uh, just plain, <laughs> plain field of grass. I mean, it's got to be boring. That's pretty much what you want in an arena. Nice, flat, and easy to work with. Uh, this guy can get out of here. I got my new style of scissors. The only problem is that these things have quite the limited radius. Like, they have a really small arc. But they're very, very fast, and they do more damage. So it's kind of better than what I had. Uh, so there, there, there's the stylist, Annabelle. What was her last... What was her name? Like, B-L... B-I-A-H. Bia? Bia? Something like that. It's not a name that I myself am familiar with. So, she died last time. What we'll do... Is can... Yes, with one regular jump, I can make it up there. So we'll do that. I will put a platform here. And then we'll break this. So what I want to do with my platforms is have them basically... So I can just jump to them. Like, say I didn't have any mobility items. Like, I better be able to jump to that one. And it looks like I can, so we're good there. And we want to kind of layer it up. And I'll show you what I mean here. So we'll, we'll start going this way. Oops. I said we'll start going this way. So if I had, I think I might have a heart statue, but if I had like heart or crystal lantern, are they heart lanterns, which need a cr uh, crystal heart or heart crystal, they increase the regen. We'll have campfires here to increase our regen. We'll have torches so we can see. A couple things just to kind of help us out. I mean, if I get some gold armor, I, I feel like we'll probably be able to deal with them. Uh, I'm aware of what he does. I, I feel like we should have dealt with him a little bit ago but I, I do want to be a little bit geared up for this. A little more geared up for this. So this is pro 
probably overkill on the the distance at which I have my platforms going, but I am Captain Overkill. So, duck. Bye-bye, well, duck. <laughs> quack. He, that was his last quack. Final quack. He, he died. That's good. I have Cthulhu is probably going to try to spawn again. It's. I think it has to do with the fact that I hit 200 HP. A lot of bosses have specific things that occur that when they occur, they start spawning naturally. And I believe the Eye of Cthulhu's is when I hit 200 HP. So, that's why he's spawning all the time. We have 300 now, obviously, but he keeps spawning because of that. So we gotta kill him, and then he should stop spawning as frequently naturally. He may still spawn, I don't know. But I mean, like, at that point, it's not gonna be anything I'm gonna wanna worry about. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it. So, it's almost night. I gotta hurry up. If I can make an iron skin potion, that'd be cool. That would increase my defense. And that's probably just one thing of lead. And I'll have to check, I think. I don't know if it's day bloom. We'll, we'll check with the guide to see what the potion requires. Hey, get out of here. I'm busy. All right, so I'm just putting torches down so me and you guys can see. And we, we shouldn't really need too many layers. I mean, two should be good. That should let me get out of his, his like lunges. And I already know his mechanics. I, I, I am familiar with what's going to happen. <laughs> I will leave this for you guys to see, to discover, and we'll deal with it as best we can. You, sir, need to die. And let's go on with our platforms. So we're basically done. And let me put some more torches up here for you guys so we all can see. I have not that many, so let's go back up here, craft a few more. That should be good. Alright, so, again, just spam torches. These do not have to be symmetrical in the least. As, oops. As long as they're spaced out enough that I get kind of relatively efficient light out of them. That's what I'm after. So that's good. Campfire. I want to put, like, one here. Maybe, like, one here. Kind of want to always be getting that buff. I don't know their exact limitation, but that ought to help. Like one more. I know it's probably a little bit overkill, but that works for me. Let's go home real fast. Uh, iron skin potion. We have our guide. He's over here. So let's go show him. Ah, I don't have lead. Do I? Oh, I have lead ore in my inventory. We should show him. Lead. Iron skin. They bloom. I should be able to make one of those. So let's open this up. I can eat my regen potions or use my regen potions. Uh, I don't... Do I have... Thorns potions will help. I should I should get away with two. 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 <laughs> two of these. Uh, recall da, da da Swiftness. Could help. Mining potions aren't going to do jack squat. Not in this situation. Okay, so we get one more lead ore, and I should already be able to make... My iron skin potion. So these increase your defense by eight. That's good, considering that's almost as much defense as I have. We honestly should be able to deal with the Eye of Cthulhu with the amount of musket balls and like the harpoon I have. If I can not miss him, that should do very well. Uh, I also thought that grenades were a relatively good option for one of his later phases. That might help. Now, what about? Shurikens? Throwing knives? 12 and 10. Throwing knives do more damage. These will probably help. These are quicker. And they only do like 10 or 12. Of course, this doing 26, but it's... I don't know. Musket might be good. But let's get over there. And we'll see if he spawns. And if he doesn't, I'll bring one of these just to be safe. I can put that sunflower over there. That just keep the environment off me. That ought to be good. So we'll try with what we've got. Those location maybe we shouldn't need. These will help me out more. They're, they're more healing. So I'm going to use those for the fight. So let's go. We might be able to deal with them now. I feel like we should. So, like, in his near his end phases, you're going to want to be able to do out or dish out a lot of damage really quick. So that's what we'll do. Now this... Just make sure. Yep, we can jump up there. So we shouldn't even need these. 
And of course I have my hook, but that's just in case like I died or lost it or something stupid happened. Uh, this should be good. As long as I don't... As long as I'm smart enough to turn around and, you know, walk the other way every time, ought to be fine. Let's go for it. We'll plop the sunflower down. You gotta put on grass. Pop the sunflower down. That should help me. Okay, you guys... I don't even think you can get up here. Hey. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't let me get my throwing knives. I will get my throwing knives. They're much quicker. I just hit him in the face and like the gel came out. It totally did. That was cool. So, we're gonna go for it. This is probably gonna end very badly. I'm gonna press B, which should use all my other potions. Okay, while we're still in early phases, let me test this. I figured that'd be relatively good against him. So, as long as I don't miss, which I'm missing a lot. <laughs> as long as he's relatively close, this is really good of a weapon. As long as I can lead my shots and predict that that lunge of his. Eh, I might just switch over to the musket. So you can use your grappling hook incredibly well here if you planned it out. So, do this. This guy should drop quite a bit of hearts. He's probably going to go into his second phase here. And I really would like to have done this with gold armor, at least. So there's a heart. And there he's going into his second phase. This isn't the, the scary phase. The scary phase is coming up. Oh my god. Look at all the uh, zombies that got up here. That's actually what was causing me the problem. Alright, so we'll deal with the zombies before we keep pissing him off. You don't want to deal them damage if you don't want him to go to that phase. So, use our hook. Kill you dudes. Any hearts want to drop? No? Okay, I'm feeling like that phase might occur soon. Get ready for it. There it is. Okay. And it's going to happen more and more frequently as he has lower HP. So you want to just deal out the damage and keep moving. So he's getting pretty pissy with us. That's obvious. He's almost dead. As you can tell, he's doing it much more frequently. Use your grappling hook to our advantage. Fuck you, zombie. We got this. We'll be fine. And he's just about dead. Come at me, bro. Come on. Come on. He's just annoying to hit. Come on. Stand still. Alright. I think the, this might be useful. If I can hit him. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's so annoying at the end. But yeah, as he, as he goes down in HP, he more and more frequently does that to you. So, eh, we dealt with it. That wasn't that bad. As long as you have a setup, a reasonable setup, and you're safe from enemies. Not, 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 a, big, not a big issue. That was that went, that went pretty well. So glad to have gotten that out of the way. Now he won't keep spawning every night and harassing me. Let's kill this. Demon Eye, give, my, give me some eye, or give me some lenses. We could totally kill another one. We still have most of our buffs. The important one's Iron Skin. We have plenty of these. And that treasure bag should give me... Is it the shield or something? We'll find out here in a second. But, do we want to attempt to get greedy? We got the weapons for it. We got the gear for it. We're doing it. It's a bad idea, but we're doing it. If I need to, I'll press B again and get all my buffs. Those will, of course, help me out a lot. Early phases? Yep, let me do this as much as I can. I need to pay attention to the zombie spawns. Because when they spawn on there, and then I start walking into them and I get knocked back, that was kind of the scariest part of all this. Because it's like you're just stuck. Later on, you'll get an item that prevents being knocked back at all. The obsidian shield, and it's so useful. And I look forward to getting that. Now let's just keep poking him right in the freaking retina. <laughs> like, can you imagine? This is, this is a freaking spear gun in your eyeball. Like, why would you want to be a floating eye? That sounds miserable. <laughs> that doesn't sound very fun, Mr. Eye of Cthulhu. Alright, come on. You are probably going to go to that next phase soon. And you gotta use that grappling hook, which pretty much lets you ignore knockback, which is quite nice. Hey, you guys wanna drop some hearts? No? Not at all? You are about to go to that phase. There it is. Got too many hearts that I should not have picked those up. So you do wanna save those hearts if you can. Okay. You're 
I'm gonna get pissy with me soon, but I'm gonna just make sure that we're using our super buff. I don't care if I waste any potions. It's not really a waste if I'm using them. Skip that heart. And I'm just gonna keep spear gunning you down, bro. There they go, all at once. Okay, any second, there it is. Oh, it's so creepy. The first time I heard that, it was so creepy. Like, I saw a video, and it was so creepy. Oh, God. There he goes. It's gonna get really frequent now. He's orange. Come on. Alright, is it time to break out the, uh, grenades? Just about. Okay, kill you. Shoot you, shoot you. Get as many shots in as I can. Okay, let's get the granadas out. Oops, that's rope. Got him. The hardest part is actually hitting him. Okay. Let's take that hard. Ah! Missed him. Hit him. <laughs> it's so, so awkward to time it. There it is. Like two more, maybe? There it is. Down he goes. See, it's, it's, again, it's really not bad when you have it kind of planned out. It's all about that arena and that preparation. Okay, so now we have two of those treasure bags. Now we shall take a look. I'm going to kill you with my scissors. I'm taking scissors to your literal eyeball. Come here, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, this is for the stylus. This is for Bia. Get over here, punk. Hey, come on. Don't, don't make me do this. I, I will get the musket out and I will shoot you down. Alright, getting you the problems, the arc on this thing. So, two treasure bags. Do we get the same thing every time? So, there it is. The Menacing Shield of Cthulhu. Uh, Corrupt Seeds Demonite Ore. So, that's his actual drop. And it looks like what they did is they took the items that he normally drops. And then just put it in a bag. So, that's cool. Kind of tidies everything up. Corrupt Seeds, I can start spreading corruption if I so choose. And Unholy Arrows, just more damage. Like, these do five. I mean, I'm just going to get rid of those. And the cool thing of all this, the very cool thing of all this, this is an expert-only thing. The Menacing Shield of Cthulhu, 32 melee damage, 6% crit critical strike chance, very strong knockback, equipable, so it has two defense just by wearing the thing, allows the player to dash into the enemy, tap in a direction. Um, we're going to get rid of those, obviously. So I think I just double tap, and I believe I don't take any damage. I don't know how frequently I can do this. So I can just keep knocking these guys back. And, while, of course, still using my weapon. So, like, just keep swinging. How cool is that? That's so cool. Oh, I, can't, oh, I just thought of that, too. With all the banners and stuff, I can start hanging banners that relate to the enemies I'm going to be fighting. Oh, that's such a good idea. Oh, that's so cool. Looks like I'm going to need a, uh, I don't know, like a thing of dirt or something goofy. Out of curiosity, let me just plop one, like, right here to hang the banner. Oh, that's so cool. The other thing that might get, might scare me is, like, I'm edging, I'm like, th th there's an edge of a cave and I'm kind of peeking and I double tap. Rip. <laughs> I can see that happening. Alright, so where did the zombie banner go? Okay, so I can hang it there. And I could, that's awesome. For my, like, arena, when we make, like, a real arena, uh, we're going to, uh, definitely spam them banners. So, as you can see, this thing's really cool. I mean, that's neat. That That is amazing for a melee character, just to, like, get in there, start beating the crap out of whatever it is you're trying to kill. Come here, punk. And then when you don't have knockback, that's also going to make it huge. So, I'm, I am totally okay with this item. I like it. That was a surprising amount of fall damage for what it was. So, two Eye of Cthulhu's down. See, I told you guys it wasn't that bad. It's just, they kind of got to get geared for it. So we can open this again. And we got an Arcane Shield of Cthulhu. Now, this one was menacing. And that is... I didn't even realize how lucky we just got. Menacing, unless they've updated prefixes, which I don't think they've done. Menacing is the best prefix you can get for damage. It's 4% damage increase. We're totally keeping that one. So my overall damage from everything, 4% increase. That is huge. So we're keeping that. Not even not even a question. Uh, I feel like we should maybe put this up here. 
Alright, so, I thought I already had climbing claws in here, but I'm going to do the quick stack thing. I don't need these arrows. Hey, Annabelle, your name is much more normal, and I can pronounce that without issue. I'm going to keep that. So, we also got the trophy, which it doesn't look like from the other menacing bag. Or, or, yeah, the menacing bag that, that was guaranteed. So, we got a silly vanity item. We has Eye of Cthulhu on our head and our shield. We have two mouths. I'm not really a fan of that vanity item, but we did get it, so that's cool. Eventually, I'm going to have a really cool house with chests dedicated to things that make sense. As of now, it's kind of like, where can I plop this item? And that's okay. It's just going to be how it is. We'll put the iron skin potions in here. I can put these seeds in here so I can start stacking them. That well-fed buff. That was cool. So, we've got Demonite Ore. And now, I know I can start making Demonite... I'm going to favorite this, even though it's a piece of wood. I should be able to start making Demonite Bars. And we can make the bow. We can make Light's Bane, which is a better sword. And we do need that later on. But, Fisher of Souls is what I was interested in. Because this will let me make a fishing rod that isn't useless. Because the wood one sucks. And we need to start doing our fishing quests just early as we can. So, do I want to make the de er, that sword? How many is it? Ten? Oh, yeah, that's 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 no question. It's ten. Okay, so we're doing that. Demonite bars, plop in here, gold ore. Let me smelt it, see if I can start making the gold armor. Uh, some people have asked me, like, why I'm still in gold or iron armor. You get a set bonus. It says it right here, set bonus three defense for wearing full iron. Unless I can wear full gold, there's no point in wasting my my gold. Like, 25 and 35, I already can't make more than... <laughs> I can't even make that. So I still need more gold if I am to upgrade to that. However, if we go fight the Eater of Worlds, we'll probably get enough Demonite Ore to just be able to make, like, right away. So basically, we just need to start killing things. And this is Platinum, so this can go here. So, we're, we're kind of holding off right now is basically what I'm getting at. And I thought we had a lot of bait somewhere. So we can start, start getting our quests on. Where are my fireflies? Where are my fireflies at? Fireflies, where are you? Huh. I could have sworn I had fireflies. If I don't, I would just go capture some more and use other things as bait. Oh, there they are. Eleven. Okay, and we'll start keeping the bug net with me. So now, Jay, got a quest that I can do? Caught in caverns. Oh my freaking god. He wants a guide voodoo fish. This is because of Dylan, isn't it? It's vengeance. He's mad at Dylan for being a freaking ped pedophile. That's hilarious. So if you haven't been paying attention, the guide has been basically dubbed as a pedophile since he was staring at little old D uh, Jay over here with longing looks in his eyes and a heart icon over his head and it's a little bit creepy so it's it's been determined Jay was a pedophile or not Jay was a pedophile Dylan was a pedophile and Jay wants his head on a silver platter and I can deliver that so this is not the cavern this is underground I do indeed believe and there's a biome change here so we can try to capture a few, just to see. I don't think this is the biome that we need to be in. This may be a big enough pool of water. Let's find out. So, us having a better fishing rod, I, I, I also think it... An old shoe. I think it increases the speed at which we, we get, like, something... We get a bite on our fishing line. Uh, it might also increase the things that you can actually capture. I, I believe some things require a certain bait power to be caught. So, having an upgraded one just helps in general. Get wrecked, mate. <laughs> Let's keep going here. If nothing spawns, he says cavern. So I think we have to go down further, but I just want to see if we get anything. I could also have brought my fishing potions, I suppose. Looks like we're just getting a bunch of tin cans. I feel it. Like, I thought that if you're only getting tin cans and shoes, that either the lake was too small or your fishing level power or whatever is too low and there's basically nothing worthwhile fishing here. I, I feel like that's going to be the case. So we might want to move on. Let's just do one more. Okay, so we're getting yeah, we're getting way too many old shoes. These are pretty much just junk items. Having the bass is cool, as we already know. 
We can make ourselves some food. And I will absolutely eat that. I love that knockback. Oh, I can do it in midair. I can do it in midair. Oh, I'm so happy about this. <laughs> I'm so happy about this item. That's really cool. So let's keep going down. And there's definitely big water sources down here for us to take advantage of to find what we're looking for here. I'm very happy about this item. I can't wait till I get the lucky horseshoe and I don't have to worry about falling damage. So I can just kind of leap without caring. And that's a pretty big lake, but I don't think that's the lake we're looking for. Uh, what do you got? You got something in you. Like ore? Tin ore. Yep. Alright guys, we killed the Eye of Cthulhu. How about, how about that? I, I'm, I'm still happy about that. Finally got that out of our, our way. It's been long overdue. Okay. Put a torch here though. This is a big, big freaking lake. Let, let's see if we get anything at all. Hey, there's amethyst here. There's purple gems. We should probably uh, capitalize on that. It could also be that we're not using good enough bait. I think. Uh, we can get better bait for sure. Doro. We messed that one up. We've only used one out of our eleven bait so far. Armored cavefish. I believe you're using a potion, so I will hold on to you. That's seaweed. We are in the cavern layer if you look at the map. So this should be the correct lake, the correct water source to be looking for the guide fish. Give me that guide voodoo fish, come on. I want my quests. We gotta start doing our quests to get the golden fishing rod. Armored cave fish. Material. So it's using something. We can show the guide and learn. Oh, ooh, there's a wooden crate. I don't think we've gotten one of those yet. Uh, wooden crates, there's wooden, I think, metal, and then... Is there, is there a gold one? Or is the metal the highest? I can't remember. There's different tiers of crates. And when you open up, you get different items. Uh, we'll open up this one. You can get, like, a, a really just random assortment of things. We're not catching what we're looking for. We're getting a bunch of seaweed and junk. This isn't very cool. Freaking old shoes. Okay. Oh, that didn't work. I guess I have to right-click in my inventory. Yep. So you got a hunter's potion and apprentice bait. And an apprentice bait gives you 15% bait power versus our current, what was it, 10? So that's better bait. That's, that's a good thing to get. I mean, right now we don't have much in the way of bait. So, do you want to give me the fish I'm looking for or do I have to keep going down? I'll, I'll take bass. Don't get me wrong. I need that so we can cook that up. Come on. Come on. I have work to do. My glow stick just died. That's sad. Why are you not bobbing? Why, th why tin cans? Why? I didn't even mean to lunge there. See, I have a feeling we're just gonna lunge. Complete and utter accident. I'm not too close to this, am I? I, I might be too close to this. No. I should mine the amethyst, shouldn't I? Before I forget. <laughs> so we're still getting bass. We should be, if you look at the map, we should be in the cave layer. So I'm not sure why we're not... Specular fish. I'm not sure why we're not getting what we're after. Come on, before that worm gets here. Come on, come on. Come on, quick. Got him. That was like just in time, too. Just in freaking time. So th this is one. This is why you want to fish early game and basically keep doing it as time goes on. Otherwise, you're going to wait like every day in Terraria and then just keep doing this over and over again. So we're, we're, we're getting awfully unlucky. Uh, I'm not sure why we're not getting the fish. Ah, there it is. So, it just took a matter of time. Again, I still think that the better your fishing power, the higher chance you have of getting that actual item. But what we want to do is turn that in as soon as possible. We don't want to wait in case days change. So, you make a great Aaron monkey, now go away. Did he give me anything? I don't think he even gave me anything. What a jerk. Can I get another, oops, can I get another quest? Not yet. So you have to wait till the next day. So we've got specular fishes and armored cave fish. So it's okay they didn't give me anything. We have to keep working our ways up. You get like rewarded progressively. So the more and more and more stuff you do, like the higher tier rewards you get, eventually gives you better rods and things. So just just keep at it. So you are using an endurance potion, which increases reduces damage. That is really freaking cool. Specular fish, recall potion, which we already have a couple. So, seaweed is useless. This stuff has zero use. Doesn't even say material, so it's not used in anything. What happens if I run into a wall? Absolutely nothing. I, I, I had to find out. Like, could I knock myself out? <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. 
So we can sell these just to completely get rid of them. I could have destroyed them as well. And these are also potion items, so they're going to go in here. Hunter potion, I have a spot for you. These, now you now have a spot in this chest. You now have a spot in here. Fishing po- oh! Did he give me these? Maybe I wasn't paying attention. That's okay. That's cool. Increase his fishing- blah, blah, blah. Increase his fishing skill. So that's going to help me when I go fishing, obviously. Uh, do I have anything I can get rid of? Now maybe I'll start putting fishing related items over here. Just make things easier on myself, because we still have no semblance of organization. Uh, cooking pot. Let's go ahead and whip together some cooked fish. I like having that buff. And I can keep the eight fireflies on my person and use that as bait. That is fine. Do I not have any dirt to stack? Because I thought I quick stacked. Nope. We have no room for dirt. <laughs> Let's take these all out. And we're going to put that in here. Tenor, did I not have a spot for you? Or was it just too far away? I was too far away. And I'll just start putting these things in here for now. Okay, so is it nighttime yet or no? It's hard to tell when it's raining. Because we're going to need to get more and more fireflies. Uh, let's see any. So this was a very successful episode 14, guys. <laughs> Two Eye of Cthulhu's dropped. That right there in its own right, the menacing. That's amazing. That That's like the best... That saves me a lot of money trying to re-roll the item. That is really freaking good. So I, I am happy with that. We got Light's Bane, so this is an upgraded sword. It's also used in swords later on in the game. Like, uh, if you show it to the guy... What if it says material? It does. It says material on it. So you can use it... You can combine it with a bunch of different swords to make some better swords. I think there's like... What is it? Knight's Edge and then Improved Knight's Edge? Or, or True Knight's Edge? It, it, it's, it's worthwhile making. It's worthwhile keeping. But uh, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. So this was episode 14... Two Eye of Cthulhu's down, fishing quest completed, generally a really successful freaking episode. We definitely want to get back here, and I did go back and look at this. This looked different. It almost looked like that may be the underworld already. Uh, I don't know if I want to bother doing that because of Medusa, or if we want to finally start a elevator. But uh, Eater of Worlds is also coming up in our near future. I, I may attack, I may go after him. Once I get a full set of gold armor. But we'll do that in the next episode, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.